so hello friends welcome again to a new html video so today's video gonna be again on html form and today i've brought a new topic that is form with radio buttons so we will use the html form tag with radio buttons so how to use this so without wasting any more time let's get today's video start so 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 as you can see this is the first program for today so let's start with today's program so i am gonna copy this program as you all guys know i do only copy the program means i write it then i copy i write it for you from the before and then i copy and then i show to you so i'm copying in the node plus plus and then i'm gonna save and i'm gonna save in my html file to so my is my html why it's not always open yeah it has opened now i'm gonna write by one dot html as it is my first program so i have saved the file i mean i have saved the file yeah i have saved now let's open and now let's see the output then we'll compare then we'll compare then i will make you understand i means i will tell you radio buttons are ah, this crazy this is so easy so let's see what is song with radio buttons okay so 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 as you can guys see this is the what this is the program and now let's see what the program says so first we have used html tag then body tag then in heading tag we have you we have written that form with radio buttons right then the main syntax comes that is form action equals to in quotation oblique action page dot php quotation closed method equals to get quotation Achha. so this is the entire program for running this program so let's check it out so this is the main syntax the first line as you can see form action is the main syntax if you don't write this then the program will not run okay so come to the next line that is input type equal to radio quotation id equals to mail name equal to gender quotation value equals to mail then value means what will the display or will the output show that is the value okay and input type here means that what the input will get from us means the user what the user will give the input so i'm clicking on this mail this is our this is my input okay so this is the use of input now in next line i have reused label tag that is level for equals to mail labeling are there so then i have closed level tag then i have used br tag okay so then again we have done input type tag we have used radio quotation then you have we have used id equals to female name equals to gender value equals to female okay now checked equals to checked in quotation Achha. now the next thing the next we have used again means we have used this first means we have used this three program i uh, means we have used this two tags three times as you can see there are three outputs so we have used this one three i mean yeah we have used this tag three times and then finally the output came like this and lastly we have used the input type tag for this showing submit quotation equals to value submit for this showing we have used the input type tag lastly and then we have closed form tag then we have closed body tag then we have closed head tag, uh, html tag i mean html and the program finishes entirely so this is the first program i it is very easy now nah? it's very easy so let's go to the second program so the second program is about the input element Achha. now let's see what is the input element so as you can see this is the second program starting from here so let's copy this program and let's check it out So I'm gonna copy, copy, copy. I have copied the program. Now I'm gonna paste it in my Note Plus. Gonna save it by 2.html as it is our second program. I hope you remember. So saving as done. Minimizing. Now let's open the file. Actually, let me keep agile. File over here opening the file the file has opened let's see now now let's see so this is the program and this is the output what the output says the input element first name last name submit click means you can write 
it says name and last name this okay so my first name is yuzu and my last name is block i have given the names now let's see how do we do this so actually we have done html form we have used html form element and by that help we have used or we have made this output so as you know that we have used html tag then body tag and then we have given a heading as you can see this is the heading and then we have used form action equals to you have to write it means in every form program of html you have to write this to run the program actually okay so this is the main syntax actually okay and then you have to use label tag input type tag for inputting and labeling acha as you can see then i have used label for a first name you can see first name then label tag closed as you can see this and then i have used input type text id first name and name equals to first name in quotation br tag two times okay so like this we have made this output and we have done this program two times okay as you can see there are two outputs so we have run this two times okay and for this submit we have given one more program as you can see input type equals to submit equal to value equals to submit in quotation and then we have closed form tag then we have written a small para as you can see this is a small para by help of paragraph tag then close body tag then close action the end of program finishes so it was so easy right yeah i know it's very easy now let's go to the third program of today the third program is about the output element this was input element now let's go to the output element so let's copy this so as you can see i have copied this then i'm going to save it so i have saved this html file right now let's see the output and compare as you can see this is the output the output element acha so it works like this it's cool na it's i think it's very cool the output element is not supported in h12 or earlier acha whatever now let's see how did we do this okay so 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 firstly as you know we are not using heading tag so i have just started with body tag and under body tag we have given the heading that is h1 the output element as you can see this output element and then 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 the main syntax come for this output element that is from on out input from on input there should be a space between this okay So as I have given, as I have not given a space for this, it's looking like this. From on input equals to quotation x value and pa parse int a value. We have to write this entire quotation syntax for running this program. Okay, guys. So for running this program, you have to write the entire syntax. Then basically, you have to use input type tag equals to range in quotation. That is id equals to a in quotation value equals to fifty. अच्छा the value is fifty. As you can see the value is fifty. अच्छा then then you have to write then you have to put plus bracket input type equals to number in quotation then you have to do id id equals to b quotation then value equals to twenty five. Okay. Then the value is again twenty five. Upper value was the range id is fifty and the number id of b is value twenty five. अच्छा then equals to output name equals to x for a and b equals to output output tag closed then form tag also closed then we are doing p tag i mean paragraph tag then we have used a small para so as you can see the small para is written so we have used a non i mean we have used a small para tag okay F then 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 we have used then we have closed the body tag and then we have closed the html tag and finally the program finishes as you can see we have done today three programs and the three programs are finished so guys i hope you have understand this video if you have not understand then give a rewind to this video and understand and if you have then also if you have doubt then just comment me in the comment box and let me know what is your doubt i will try my 100% to tell you so 
today's video only for this much see you in the upcoming next video very very soon